Full Rangers fans, it's opening day for the World Series champs, the reigning ones at least. Yeah, the team made some final roster moves yesterday. Fox Sports Dan Godwin live from Globe Life Field on What You Need to Know. Dan. <laughs> Good morning, Brandon. The Texas Rangers as a franchise go back 53 years, but they've never embarked on a season like this one where they are defending a World Series title. This is a team feeling confident, but they say they fully understand the challenge that lies ahead. The players got a chance to hold one final practice on Wednesday before tonight's season opener against the Chicago Cubs. Yesterday is also when the last roster moves were made to get the team down to the 26 player limit. Rangers manager says the process unfortunately requires some hard conversations. The worst part of the job uh, is that last week of spring training when you start to trim down the roster to guys who are on the cuffs uh, of making the club and Having to you know, send them down, it's never easy, especially when guys do all they can to be on the club and have good springs. Uh, it was very competitive. They're excited. They're excited just to to see that the World Series flag hanging on the, you know, in the outfield. So it's going to be a nice day, and I think the the fans are also excited for that. Rangers Hall of Famer Pudge Rodriguez will catch the ceremonial first pitch tonight thrown by a longtime Rangers fan. The team is starting the season with three home games against the Cubs before heading out for their first road trip. First pitch set for 6.39 p.m. Prior to that, the team will be presented with the Commissioner's Trophy for winning the 2023 World Series. Then, as Pudge alluded to, the World Championship banner will be unfurled. It'll hang on a flagpole beyond the right field wall here at the stadium. And let's not forget the presentation of those coveted, bejeweled championship rings. Those will be bestowed on the defending champs before Saturday's game here at Globe Life Field. Tonight's game is a sellout, but we are told there are still some tickets available for this weekend's games. Reporting live in Arlington, Dan Godwin on Good Day.